Hey guys, this is Danks87. Going to be showing you how to do a full 3D top down game. It's uh, fairly simple. This is the sackbot up here, standing on the back wall, and um, we have our controller. Pop yourself in, and as you can see, you run around. Did a little landscape, little light, and a small building to show you. Right, we're going to be using the Sackbot with the movie camera on it. If you do not know how to do this, this is in my previous tutorial, just click on the icon. So this is what you're going to need. Two character animation tweakers. One advanced mover, one speed sensor, and one rocket rotator. Just going to pop him onto the back wall, and we'll get started. Okay, so open your sack box circuit and we're going to want to go to the movie camera that activates when the controller activates. Change the angle and just pull down so we look kind of up at him. This is the perfect angle for what we need. Okay, so now we're going to want to get a microchip just to put all our separate logic into it and after we would like a advanced mover. I set it to 90% acceleration and deceleration and put in from your left analog stick the right and left into the right and left part and the up and down into the up and down part. Next we need the speed sensor and we will set this to 0 0.1 in any direction and now we're going to move on to the character animation at the moment if you place this on a circuit board that is too far away from the sack itself you will not be able to preview it so I always put them down here right on it next to it okay so what you're going to need to do is go in and change the default rotation turn it all the way around to face backwards and then pitch it so that it faces up next we choose the animation gonna go with just idle so then we'll move this back up here Next we need our NOT gate. This allows us to invert the speed sensor so that when you are NOT moving the idle animation will play. Now I'm going to get another character animation tweaker. Obviously you could copy the other one to keep the same angle but I'm going to keep it like this for now. So we're going to put the same angle in and change the animation to a walking so medium walk and we're going to attach that to the speed sensor so whenever we move that animation will play instead of the idle next we're going to need the rocket rotator and I set this to 90 as well This makes it so whichever way the sackbot is moving, it will face in the same direction. Also, I find if you increase the size of the sackbot slightly, making sure you have the funny head size off, then it makes the whole thing look a lot better. And we are done. You have yourself a full 3D top down animated sackbot. Have fun with this. I know I've had a lot of fun with this. And uh, keep tuned. 